Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's Thursday, the 18th of June. I'm the Budget Modeler, Steph. Good evening. And that there is... Okay, Mark, can you send your sound off, please? I am doing, mate. I am doing. Here we go. Hey! Failed that. And the person there is... Hello. Introduce yourself. My name is Mark. And he can read. So we're carrying on with our Revel 132nd Gulf War Tornado builds. Um, how are you getting on, Mark? All right, mate. Uh, just finishing off doing all the little sub-assemblies, boss pod, jamming pod. Uh, a bit of touching up to do on some of the pylons. Um, I've got to fit the radome. Um, touch up a few bits on the fuselage and then it's good for glossing. Cool. So, what are you going to use for glossing? Uh, I will be using a rattle cam. Okay. Uh, Humbrol Clear Poly, which okay. does the job quite yeah. well. Okay. Might have so, to have a look at that. It's not bad. Providing the conditions are, are, uh, are well enough, obviously yeah. you don't you use it well in a well ventilated area. Obviously yep. not outside in the weather conditions we've got up here at the minute because it's absolutely teeming it down. Oh, bright sunshine down there. Oh, want to swap? No, because we've had the rain. Oh, all right then. Yeah, it's absolutely teeming it down. So hopefully uh, I shall get that glossed at some point tomorrow. Uh, when I come in from work, and then that gives it a bit of time before I come back up for the M4H mess, and it'll be ready to deckle. Cool. Remember, when you're doing stuff like that, wear gloves and masks and protective whatever you need. Already have my mask. Good lad. And have bucket loads of gloves. Nice. Awesome. One reason why, one reason why I love my missus, because she's a carer, and she gives me all the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There is a bonus. There's always an upside. Oh, of course. How about yourself? How have you been getting on? Um, bit of a shitty day today, but hey ho. So I've just. We all get like that, mate. Yes. So I've just uh, monged on the sofa. Yeah. Uh, watch telly. Done bugger all. Um, I've. Cut out the bit for the lovely Dago Dago box. All right. Data recorder and everything. So I've cut the hole mm -hmm. out there. Oh, it was stored uh, on the spine, was it? Yep. Mm -hmm. I have skimmed the edges of the door for the main part. So I don't have to make another one. So I've made them a lot thinner, but the, the middle is still quite thick. I've yeah. just skimmed the edges so it, it looks like it's thinner. Yeah. And that works quite well. Um, and I am pulling my hair out trying to make the ammo feed. Uh huh. For the Mauser. And it's yeah. doing my boxing. Oh, I can't get a styrene to stick to the leaded wire. But. I'm going to crack mm -hmm. on and try again tonight. So I'm going to cut a load more clips of styrene and yeah. see if we can get it to work. It won't, won't even work with CA. That's what I'm using. All oh, right. And it still won't work with that. Yeah. Oh, blimey, something is wrong. Yeah. So what we got? Uh, GB said, evening, guys. Evening, GB. How you doing, mate? What you been up to? Uh, he said he stopped using polyurethane based paints years ago as they yellow over time. So what do you use now then? Let us know. Chuck us a shout. Chris uh, Gregory is watching with you. Evening, Christoph. Oh, hello, Chris. How are you? So you can see things like that. I can't see those. Well, this is just off the uh, Facebook feed. Yeah. Cool. So. No, he hasn't. Com he hasn't commented, but it says he's watching. Yeah. Um. If you want to ask us anything about the builds or. Life in general, give us a shout. Let us know what you want to ask us. 
<laughs> we can come out with one statement. What's that? We avoid the Revel 132nd Gulf War tornado like the plague. Oh, God, yes. Please do. If not for fit, for lack of blooming detail. Some parts are awesome. Some parts are so well detailed, it's ridiculous. But others, there is... Then you get, then you get to the underside. Well, no, not even the underside, Mark. Well, um, as you said, it's smoother than the baby's backside, that. And it was, yeah. to be fair. Um, it's like under the wings here. Look, I don't know whether I can sort it. But you have a look straight down there. It's It's so... Pig and shiny, it's ridiculous. There's absolutely nothing there. Evening, Mr. Glennie. Yeah. Um, Halford's clear lacquer decanted for the airbrush. Oh, nice idea. We shall try that one. Evening, Al. Glad you could make it. Oh, dear. Let's take our piece of weather for modelling. Oh, you're not wrong there. It's oh, well, it's not too bad here. Yeah, like I said, want to swap? And like I said, no. <laughs> I think once I'm finished this during these buddy builds, I'm going to start yep. finishing off models. Start what? Really? Finishing off models. Ah. As soon as I've got my all my flat things shelves. <laughs> flat things shelves. That's the one. Yeah. As I've got all those up now, I've got somewhere to put stuff. And I didn't really you'll have. Start, you'll start off at ten. What is Steph on about? And if you can answer that, please tell me, because I haven't got a pigging clue. <laughs> Never mind, mate. There is one redeeming feature. Tomorrow is Friday. But it doesn't make any difference to me. <laughs> That's me. I've got two days off. Yeah, hey. Which is a good enough reason for stop. Oh, yeah. Well, I've had my CA glue decanted for about 20 minutes now. So let's see if that allows me to uh, stick me styrene to my bloody leaded wire. For some reason, it's uh, been a right royal pain in the backside. I spent about two and a half hours on Wednesday trying to do it. And in That's the end, just threw my arms up in despair and went, no! <laughs> Doing my head in. Okay, I need to clean these tweezers because I've got bloody super glue wrapped all around them. Right, right, let's see if this will work. IPA. If not, I'm going to have to go and make some uh, bicarbon water up. Bicarbon water? Please pray tell the alchemist. <clears throat> bicarbonate of water, bicarbonate of soda and water is a great uh, CA accelerator. All right. IPA does to a degree, 
but not as well as that does. So what have you been up to since you finished work? Oh, just basically, like you say, chilling. Cup of tea, something to eat. Yeah. Had to sort out a few things for the new car. Because um, we had a couple of policies, gap policies for the old ones. And All right. Wife. So we had to cancel them off, but obviously, was one was in my name, one was his, one was in her name. So had to uh, ring up this insurance company, and so they could speak to my wife to, you know, for her permission to be given to uh, cancel policy, mm. as it was in her name, not mine. Okay. Yeah. That seems to have... Number one that seems to have worked fine. These little fairings on the Bospod, I haven't quite got round to the art of masking them up because I find that a, a fiddly of a blasted job. Yeah. So it's a case of coming out with a 5 0 brush. <laughs> And see what you can, what you can get away with. No, Al, not yet. What's that? Al had just put up. Does that mean? Does that now mean you can use the big red one now? Hey, the car. Right. Okay. Um, let's have a look at some of the comments. Uh, Common Road Junction says, "Hey guys, hey, come on, have a look at your." Uh, video love the crash blenheim that looks really good especially with all the struts coming out from the wings and the wing roots that's really good uh gb model zone yeah add bicarb to super tone makes it easier to sand too okay cool makes it's adding bicarb to sand super glue makes it easy to sand yep oh good evening mr childs how are you Honestly, Gov, we're being good. He's come to keep an eye on us, you know that. Yeah, just to make sure we don't mention a certain... Yeah, a certain gentleman from uh, bygone era. A certain conflict. Yes. Also, just don't mention penguins. Don't. I've forgotten about that. <laughs> it's sat there probably effort and Jeffrey now, calling his holding <laughs> <clears throat> right. 
two. Now there should be a set of wings for that. Oh bugger, I forgot I've got the EIU fairings to put on as well. Don't Don't forget the fairings. Well, they were just more of an embuggerance than anything else in the field. They never worried us because we didn't have to take them off. Precisely, if they because they're not on. Presuming they're the little wings for odd. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does it give a second to that? You know, this is going to go perfectly well straight away. <laughs> After all, I went through on Wednesday with this um, famous last words. Well, no, when I was doing it last Wednesday, I could, didn't even couldn't even get this far without it falling apart. Because the proof comes in the bending. Van Hindenburg. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I've got to do do this. Then I have to get my Dremel out and do my Hindenburgs. Because I did promise everybody that I would do my Hindenburgs tonight. So. Well, they're getting some, but it won't be yours. Uh, right. Let's put that to one side and leave to dry. And we can trim it down a bit. For those of you that are interested, that is going to be the. Uh... Mark, what's it going to be? Feed shoot, for, feed shoot for the ammunition. What's it going to be? Styrene and lead wire. <laughs> it's actually soldering wire. Well, you said lead wire. Yeah, but I found that soldering wire is really, really good. It's a bit more malleable. Oh yeah, tell me about it. Right then. Heck of a lot. Although lead is all right, it's. Yeah. You're limited, really, on the number of times you can bend it. Yeah, you are. Uh, Common Road Junction says, thanks for that, mate. Not a problem. Any time. You've got some really good work, though. I'm really impressed. Uh, Malcolm's poorly actually laid up. Ate too much chocolate orange. Don't mention the penguins. Anyone spot the, f the red threads today with the French patroulier? No. No. I didn't see those at all. But I hopefully, hopefully get better, mate. Right then. Okay. Change of light slightly. Yeah, two fly well, one fly past, two teams just to mark a speech. What was that for? Uh, something to do with a certain 1939-1945 conflict. All right, okay. Some some radio broadcast by De Gaulle. All right. In with the big Yeah, the Gobier. There it is. Right. Let's get this swapped. A bit gross. 
still got lots of EVA dust on me. Yeah. Drill. Are your, just out of interest, are your Hindenburgs to hand? Yeah, why? Because my, on mine, it's got the um, Revel stamp and year of manufacture. Where? On the inside of the Hindenburg. Oh, I don't know. Really... Mine are built, mate. Oh, yours are built. Okay. Yeah. If you've got them, then I'm sure that everybody else has got them as well. No, I was just curious as to the date, as to the date, that's all. Right. Let's clear some of this out of the way so I don't accidentally slip and rip into loads of other stuff because I've never been known to do that before. Aye. Uh -huh. Clear the decks before playing silly sauce. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Achtung. Spitfeuer. Don't mention the war. <laughs> sounds like one of my neighbours drilling, but it sounds like a cow giving birth. Tony Simpson's just piped up. Good evening, Tony. He says, hi, all. Just to let you know that decorator's chalk is fantastic. Really smooth and sandable. Yeah, somebody said that to me the other day. Who was that? Oh, that was, uh, yeah, one of my uh, guys from my group, Vince. Yeah, I might have to pop and get some of this decorator's chalk. Everybody's shouting think, about it. Look at it. I think, is it chalk or is it decorator's cork? Um, I don't know whether it's cork or chalk. Um, Alistair goes, don't tell him your name, Pike. Ba -bum um, Comrade Junction, don't mention the wall. Uh, model making truck up morning, morning to you, young man. How you doing? Morning, uh, look, he's confused. Bless him, he lives with Nat. What do you expect? I'm gonna go straight to hell for that one if she's watching. Uh, yep, get free, boy. Uh, yeah, apparently they flew over London for the 80th anniversary of the speech of Charles de Gaulle saying resist the Germans. Ah, got ya. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a try of that, Tony. That sounds like a great idea. Corking. Uh, yeah, Not cork corking. Yeah, Malcolm says, lucky the lettering is on the inside, Mark. Indeed. Oh, yes. It been, been totally mm -hmm. tontoed if it was on the outside. That's yep. one heck of a lot of sand in. Would you have been Donald Duck as well? Totally. <laughs> I'd have gone from Hindenburgs to the small ones. <laughs> 1500s. Mm hmm. All right, where are we? I've got that picture. And I've got. No. 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 That picture. So I'm going to go with that one. So I've also got to make it look quite rough because they were um, made of. What were they made of, Mark? Carbon fiber. Yep. Carbon fiber Kevlar mix. Yeah. Uh, model making trucker said, uh, LOL stuff. I'm living the dream nightmare. How are you two? We're both doing okay. Had a bit of a most people call it dossy day today. Uh, just couldn't get into the mood, so I thought I'm gonna sit and watch telly. And then, uh, when we finish here, uh, I'm gonna sit and watch The Matrix with a bird. Do that. Uh, Ali Al, Al says, uh, use talcum powder and tell me it's extra thin. Makes a nice sandable filler. Okay, I'm going to try that, but I'll try it with my homebrew. Uh, model making trucker says, thank you for your support on Monday, Steph. No problem, mate. Anytime. Right, where are we? Right, okay. 
Is that too noisy, Mark? Good not you, mate. Some bugger, some bugger was using a Dremel. Okay. <laughs> no, it's all right by me, mate. It's uh, I don't know how bad it'll be for the uh, for the good listening folk. <laughs> right. Guess what? Wow. You is looking after the comments. <laughs> Oh, well, Take I can't see the ones on the uh, on the mess on YouTube, but I've got the ones on Facebook. Right, okay. Uh, Common Road's not sure what else to add that, to that Blenheim. Nothing. As Well, that would be my opinion, but it's up to you. It's your model. You finish it when you feel satisfied. Less is more, as they say. Oh, yes, definitely. Sometimes that... you put too much weather in, too much damage detail, too much of a diorama, and it just it takes away from the main item of the of the diorama. I will leave you in Mark's capable hands, Colin. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, the old adage comes to mind, Colin. If, the, if, if you think it looks right, then it's right. As Steph says, it's your model, your build, your way. And that's the main thing that it should be about. Yeah, we all try to improve our skills or skill set uh, as methods. But if you think it's right, that's good enough. What is it, my eyes? And I'm sure plenty of other people will tell you exactly the same. Masking come. Where are you? you? Where's the end? You gimp. And it, I think that's it. Ah, I found it. Ha 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 ha. Uh, not bad. Not good. Bleed. Eat it. Need to double check with the good lord himself when he comes back in with regards colouring because sometimes the Hindenburgs or drop tanks or Boz pods, not that I worked on tornadoes, but sometimes on Jags, which I worked on, if they were away on deck, like for like the Gulf or Insulic or um, Deny Flight. The fins did not match the color of the fins did not match the overall color scheme of <coughs> of the aircraft. So I'm just wondering whether to leave these ones primed just to provide a point of point of conjecture, which is what I think I will do to be fair. Give me a talking point. Brew glue coming on well. About the stage of milk needs to be thicker, but I'm only putting a bit in at a time because then that way I can. Nice. And just it's, it's more along the lines oh, well, of cream. Yeah, more along the lines of cream, mate, or a bit thicker than cream, not milk. Yeah, well, it's still perfectly drippable, but it hangs on the uh, end of the little brush quite well. Yeah, as long as it's doing that, that should be fine. Did you ever notice that, Steph, or experience that? What? Sometimes on on pods or tanks or whichever, sometimes the fins did not match the overall colour scheme of the aircraft. No, no. It was very much mix, mix and match and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, Common Road Junction... Uh, sorry, GB Model Zone said, uh, "We're on. Where are you on Facebook? Then, yes, I am. Just look for Budget Modeler on Facebook. Come and join us." Uh, Common Red Junction said, "Cheers for for the comments on his thing." Uh, Al Glenny says, "Spot on, Mark. I have no time for rivet counters. Couldn't agree more." Uh, Trucker has gone at GB. If you type in Budget Modeler in the search bar on Facebook, it should come up on his page. Yep. Mark, are there any Jags still flying? asked Malcolm.
Mark. Sorry, just gluing. Oh, come on, Malcolm. It's Mark you're talking to. You can't do two things at once. Remember that. Sorry, Malcolm. What have I done wrong? He's asked. Blah, blah, blah. He said to you, he says, are there any Jags still flying, Mark? Not in the UK, there isn't. Okay, so next comment we've there got... is one kept. Sorry, on, there is one on. kept at Bentwaters that's capable of uh, a fast taxi run. Yep, but she won't fly. No. Uh, Common has just said, "I think it looks okay. I just don't want to too much. If as long as you feel it's fine, then leave it there. It's perfectly fine." Um. Malcolm says, hi, Al. Uh, Tony Simpson, Mark, so many of the drop tanks were showing other colours through the pink. Yeah, they were. It's yeah. just the pink, the, because they weren't primed, they were just yeah. lobbed onto the surface of old uh, old RAFG colours. Mm -hmm. They would whip away. And yeah, well, I think I'll do, I'll, I'll do some of the fins in, in a bit of that and then top coat it in sand. And then just wash it off. Yeah. Uh, Tony said, Steph, uh, Tony, it's double F, not PH. I'm so going to slap him at the next time I do. Uh, apparently, the Indians still use them. So I, I presume he's talking about India as in the nation and Jaguars. <coughs> India uh, still use them. Aman still uses them. Yeah, some Af some African countries use them. Don't don't the Sultan of Oman's Oman's lot go uh, dune hopping? Yeah, I said the Omanis have got them. Don't make that. No, listen, don't they go dune hopping. Huh. You know the two yeah. little things at the back, just skipping yeah. a dune with those. Yeah. Either that, or they take off the um, squadron hack roof with it. Which apparently is a is a I'm presuming it's a true story. Well, I think I'd, I'd say it is after seeing some of the photographic evidence. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm said, "I never saw any at air shows that I can remember. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing them at Lucas uh, at Wado. Remember seeing them there." So it looks like Mark's just stalled a bit. Uh, Al says hi, Malk, and Tony Simpson says yes, Steph. Oh, he's like, oh, he's back again. I'm here. Uh, Tony says it is Mark seen the car. It is, yeah. I've got a book in my uh, library called uh, Jaguar Boys, and it shows the pictures and the story in that. Cool. Some um, RAF pilot stroke on loan or on debt to um, Raffo. <laughs> Apparently, it was his last trip, I think, and uh, <laughs> came in a tad too low. Oopsie. Oopsie. Yeah. Well, thanks, GB, to subscribing to the budget model page on Facebook. Just popped up on my phone. Right, you're in control, Mark. Again? Again. I'm, just, I'm just going to do the other one. What are you doing to him? Come on. Ah, oh, so I've been lumbered in charge of the comments, and guess what? I can't see them. Ah, there we go. I can see the comments. Hurrah! I have control. <laughs> right, another brush needed. Not quite that one. Not quite that one. That one will do. 
How long have I got to leave that stuff to set? That's the next thing. I'll leave that one back up at the minute. Right, there we go. That's done. Oh, he's back. Yep. Yeah. Because what I first thought, Mark, if you have a look at your yes. box and you get the front bit and you've got the first two ridges, I only thought it went back Hang to on. there. But on further investigation, it doesn't. It goes back to the previous ridge. Which is an absolute beast. Oh, but why with the rest of the kit then? Did they decide to go recessed panel lines? But on these things, they've, they've been raised. Uh, because they are seams. They're not panels. Ah. They're, they're glued together. So they're not technically panel lines, but you, what I've done is I've knocked all mine back because yeah. they are a bit too much, really. Yeah, you should hold a bit of a wash, all right. What are you looking for, Blake? Right then. Going deep, going silent. Running silent, running deep. Look, we're not doing anything yet until you've got the. Yeah. I don't know what plans mum has because mum wants to go shopping as well. Don't hold your breath. That's why I said you wait for me, not him. Did you wait for a few seconds? I lost the feed on my Kindle, so 
I couldn't see any comments, so I had to switch on to the uh, chat one. But if I put it onto that, it doesn't split screen me and it lose the video or lose the sight of the video. Oh, is he still messing with his little drill? Oh, boys and their toys. I'd laugh my tits off if he went a bit too deep with that thing. <laughs> Who's on the chats? Let's see what we got. Oh, hello. Aren't the tanks raised lines meant to be raised as they were sealed around the outside? Yep, that's right. That's what Steph said, Malcolm. Come on, road junction, fitting metal wire ropes to a 148 scale Bedford. Oh, I'd love to see pics of that. Mm, I bet that's a corker. Malcolm, what plans do we have for Father's Day? Well, I don't know about Steph. But I'm planning on getting drunk. <laughs> Vince, don't blame me. It's the vodka. <laughs> Steady on, mate. What am I talking about? Well, lots of things. Usually crap. I find it quite good at times to talk to myself. And it's a guaranteed intelligent conversation and nobody answers me back. Any of the you know that any of you that are married should surely know that already. What's the new model then, Vince? And I know uh, Hobbycraft's now open. Our local model shop opened up Monday on restricted hours, but as soon as I finished, well, well it was Tuesday, I should say, but, but Tuesday I went through. Oh, boy. Talk about kid in a sweet shop moment. Can you hear me? Oh, he's, back. he's back. God help Can him. You hear me? A bit Can you hear me? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Right, what's been going on? Uh, well, I didn't realise you had muted yourself and I was yakking her ear to myself and... Yeah, and... Well, Mr. Common Road Modeler was taking the mickey, but uh, yeah, we're used to it. <laughs> yes, uh, Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm says, aren't the tags, uh, the tanks raised lines meant to be raised as they were sealed around the outside? Sure, I've seen pics of raised edges. Yes, Malcolm, there were, there were fiberglass and they were sealed around the outside of it. Um, Common Road Junction fitting metal wire ropes ties to a 148th scale Bedford. Cool. What are you using for the metal wire? I use 0.2 mil copper. That's usually quite good. Uh, what plans have you for Father's Day, chaps? That's a bit assumptive, Malcolm. Thinking of my father. Uh, <coughs> oh, good Lord, Vince is on. Don't blame me, it's the vodka. Hello, Vince. Uh, common Road, mate, you said. Steady on, mate. What are you talking about? Told you. Yeah. Meant to say, what toy are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Failure! Uh, Vince says, started, a no started the new model. Wix and Hobbycraft now open. Cool. I think I'll be popping down to Wix tomorrow to get some of this chalk. Or corking or whatever it is. Um, Comrade Junkin, florist wire. Probably a little bit out of scale, but it works. 
Well, here you go, Mark. Hang on. And skin down using the Dremel. Uh huh. So I'm probably going to leave it like that because it actually looks like the carbon fiber has been ripped away. Yeah. You it's need it as a rubber. You don't need it perfectly smooth because oh, obviously you, no, want no, it, no. You, want it, you want it textured for God's sakes. Yeah. And I'll probably paint those sort of uh, a beige color, the carbon fiber color. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that was brave of me doing that. <laughs> I don't think you could see it, but my hand was shaking like a... <laughs> and it was like, sod it. Cut! <laughs> right, so... I'll put one there. Oh, gold has knackered that one. Mark. Yep. I don't know. It's uh, a nice holder. Actually, I'm going to need a bit of blue tack in that. So it sticks to the far end. Right. See how this goes on. See how I get on trying this. This is the first time I'm trying this technique, so wish me luck. Good luck. What? Uh, uh, just using the worn effect liquid. All right, cool. Uh, Vince has said, "Op oh, banner Wessex, Wesses? Don't you mean a Wessex?" Mark three and troops. Base has been started. You haven't been stealing Jill's breadboards again, have you, mate? Or have you nicked it and not told? Sorry, was I not meant to mention that? <gasps> oh well. Looks like she's got something else to blame me for. I I get so much abuse off that woman because I got her husband into modelling. Uh, right, chaps, time to go to the servery OC called to come for tea. Cool. Enjoy your tea. Um, Tony says, Steph, the B&Q chalk is the one. B&Q, B&Q. Put your teeth in. One pound fifty a tube. Cool. Uh, Vince has gone. No, she's already locked it away. Huh. <laughs> Can't falter. For his osprey, he looked at his missus's bread bin and went, "Oh, that would make a great board." She went, "Only if you buy me another one." Next thing she knows, she's got a new one, which is <laughs> also got a wooden base. I can see a theme get running running here, Vince. Right, let's get those uh, trimmed. Still don't know whether to do them grey or do them white. Uh, pink. We we'll have to have a look at that one. Nice even stroke, Steph. Any more than three strokes is a, uh, yeah, one of those. Okay, I'll take that one. <laughs> Jill now wants a display cabinet just for the models. Fair play. Get a glass one with lots of lights in it. Medium Go paint. Oh no, I was more of a spin dollar, Malcolm. Go for the profit. Get another model and all.
Was that a pain eek or a normal eek? That was a eek. Me Hindenburg's dropped and bent my tail fin while it's setting. Oopsie. That's why you always have a huge chunk of blue tack. And you shove the nose into it. Nope, it's all right. Found somewhere much more effective. Uh, have a quick look at the screen. Give me a minute. I've got to sit back down again. Yes, I am looking at screen. Read what Vince has put. Three strokes and it's oh, fighting talk. Yeah. Vince, you're outnumbered here, mate. I'd be warned. Thing is, though, be careful. Why? What was he? He's got a gringo moustache, and you tend to fall over laughing. That's how he gets to win his fights. Yeah, he just used to comedy him into submission. Yeah. That's oh, the well. thing about this. If if they want to banter, they're on the losing side because we just ignore what they say. Straight away. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Do believe I've earned myself a bit of fresh air. Funny enough, I just started sort of thinking the same thing. I'm so just next door to the bench, but not at the bench. Yeah, that wasn't as harrowing as I thought it was going to be. What, the three strokes rule? Ha ha, da dun There's the, uh, the slicing of the Hindenburgs. Well, at least the rain stopped. It has that. Uh, I'm just looking at your Tonka GB. Echo Alpha. Like it. Really do. That's really smart. Looking forward to seeing that one. I actually worked on that little tinker. Yes, um, I was at the Shuttleworth Collection, and there's a guy there who who made a made Echo Alpha as well. And um, walked up to the table and said, you "Can tell me you made this?" And the looks on the guy's faces behind there thought, "Oh, here we go, really counter." And they all went, <laughs> "He did." And the bloke stood there. And I said. Yeah, it's a really nice model. I used to work on that one. And he's like, oh. I said, no, it's a really good model. Really enjoyed it. It's really smart. Well done, mate. He's like, oh, thank you very much. And all his mates were sat behind him going, bro. <laughs> he was a I bit taken they, aback then. Yeah, I think they wanted me to be a bit of a rivet counter. Critic, yeah. Yeah. Um... Malcolm's asked me, what's the Dremel you've got, Steph? It's a Challenge Extreme. I got it from Little. I think it was about 20 quid, something like that. It wasn't too expensive. Is it cordless, Steph? No. But I've, uh, it's hung up, and I've got a nice little flexi arm. Uh -huh. So I don't have to hold the whole machine and be really really awkward with it mm. no i didn't i got it from argos for my oh, yeah argos it was from for my birthday from uh, at least so let's see um all right this is the bit I need. And I don't know whether you can see it. I'll go full screen so you can see what it looks like. Where are I? Oops. Oh, 
I don't know whether you can see it very well, but it's that bit that goes from the gun up to behind it because under there was the ammo storage crate. In there, round it went, slammed into there, around the chamber, back out through there. So I'm trying to make that bit there, which is that bit there. Oh, fun. And when you've got ba as bad eyes as I have, you can't see, Jack. Uh, GB said uh, he built the kit 20 years ago, just working on the grime and dust at the moment. Gordon Bennett, how many have you made in your lifetime, GB? Yep, that's the one, Malcolm. Extreme! Okay, Malcolm's off. Take care, Malcolm. See you later. See you later, Malcolm. Hopefully catch up tomorrow. Um, Vince has said, drill from the RAF mess, home alone type, multi-heads available. Oh, yes. And Tony's gone feed mech, Steph. Yep. No, it's, it's not the feed mech. Feed mech was a bit... Was the enclosure in there? It's the... Um, the feed shoot. That comes down and all the rounds go in. But I've probably got it completely and utterly wrong, and Tony's going to slate me profusely. And rightly so. Oh, yes. It's like I could never, ever remember the cart numbers. Hmm. I must have fitted thousands. 201s, 204s for Jags. Yep. Um, I, I just could never remember the numbers. So I don't know if the EIUs were the same on Tonkers as they were for Jags, but because obviously Tonkers had mace lugs. Yeah. Uh, did you have uh, Ledrews and Hedrews? No. Right, so no, they wouldn't have been. Tony, remind us what the cart numbers were for Tonkers, because I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, 204. Thank you, Tony. You're a star. Oh, there were 204s. Yeah. Um, GB's been modelling for 50 years. He's now built six 132nd scale Tonkers, and he's got four left in the stash. Ooh, Ooh, nice. I hope he's got room to store them. Once they're built. Exactly. 201s for the Seablies, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so 201s would go in the EIUs in the Seablies, and then... No, your 204s would go in the Ledru or the Hedru, depending on where the Seably was, which is usually on the Hedru. And then the 201s would go in the Seablies. I just used to call them uckers. <laughs> Ucker bits. Yeah. Bring me down again. There we go. GB's gone. I live in a three bedroom house on my own, so got loads of room. Nice. I've just had to build uh, eight shelves. So me and the missus have got room to put our models. She makes these little houses and stuff. <laughs> right then. Here goes the fun part. Um... Put them away, didn't I? Yep. Yes, yeah, Steph. What? Oh, nice. What are those? 204s? Yeah, 204 and a 201. <laughs> well, 
two oh ones are the short ones, aren't they? Yeah. They're the Uckers bits. Oh, it's... Uh, well, them, they're my Uckers bits. Good God. Yeah, we went down to Bob Edley's for uh, the mid-pre-op. Yeah. Stayed down overnight and he, uh, he said, you eat it? I said, yeah, yeah, we'll have a bite to eat. And he sat, sits us down at the armour table. My daughter says, what's that Ludo board? Oh, oh dear. dear. Oh, dear, did I have to uh, reintegrate her into the ways of the... Uh... Did she get educated that night? She did. And lost. Still got it, yes. Right. I'm now, have to build this all again, Mark. Never. Yep, it's just all broken apart me. Oh, good God. Oh, well. These things are sent to triers, and when we're modeling triers, they do. Right. Question. For Answer. you and Mr. Simpson, if he's still on. Yeah, he is. On the back, on the back of the Boz pod. Yeah. What colour were the dispenser tubes, or the See, ends of the dispenser silver. tubes? Right. And the actual back face of it? Silver. It was all silver. Yeah, as if, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I'm fairly sure, because what you did was you unscrewed it, and you yeah. took the whole of the centre section out. Mm -hmm. And then you put the flares in in tubes, into each tube. Then you put right. it back in and you screwed it back in. Right. If I remember correctly. Yes, Tony's just confirmed, Silver. Right. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Steph. Oh, here's another, here's a question for you, Tony. I had a discussion with somebody on the IPMS Tornado SIG site. And some bloke was saying, well, after much research, I found that GR1s actually had a green uh, cockpit floor. And I'm like, no, they didn't. They had a green cockpit floor with a black mat with cutouts in for the seat connectors, like the arm restraints, the leg restraints, and the gun and everything. And he's like, no, they were green. I said, no. He said, well, Merv, brackets, R.I.P., stated earlier that they were green and i went mervyn hart i who both worked on tornadoes and both worked with each other have had a long discussion about this and i have never ever seen a green cockpit floor in a tonka unless it's a german one but the germans never flew gr1s was that about mr Milliken? yes god rest him i Never met him, but chatted with him a few times on the Armourer's modelling page and the, Ar the Armourer site. Yep. Yeah, had lots of time for that guy. To get over there, right? Yep, and GB's just confirmed it. No defo grey floors. Yep, thought so because I've, I've never seen a Tonka with a green floor, and it's like, where did that come from? Unless it was, as I said, one of the, Ger the German ones had green floors, but I don't seem mm -hmm. to remember seeing any Germans with green floors. Now. That's dry ish. Now, this is to be used to knock it back with water if you were using acrylics. 
Water soluble, there we go. It says you can scratch it away with a toothpick, so you can see. Sorry if I'm not chatting, guys. Just trying to concentrate. I'm not very good at doing stuff like this and talking at the same time. How are we doing? Oh, tell me about it, Tony. Um, I remember once I was being supervised doing a seat and I had to take the command ejection system out the front. And managed to take it out so the back one came off and the two front ones came off and went to put the new one in and one of the nuts wouldn't go on so the guy at the back with me was i think it was spike fradley and he had to go he says i can't get that on he said, let's take it out and have a look at it so we had a look at it. He went, right, okay, give me a sec. So he took a China graph out, put a mark on it, and went, right, that's the one that's going in. I went, okay. So he went back down, grabbed the other one, and went, oh, fuck. Uh -huh. Came back up with it and went, have a look at that and tell me what the difference is. So I, the thread's been cross-threaded. He went, yeah. Any money, one of those bolts, the bolt that won't go on, is cross-threaded too. So... The seat came out, the side panel came out, the console between the pilot and the navigator came out because the whole thing had to be replaced. And it went from the front left of the cockpit to the back right. Because I found it, my name was Mud. <laughs> And I think, to be honest with you, the person who cross-threaded it initially was actually still in the squadron. Because if that seat had gone via C command ejection system, it probably would not have gone. pilot would have got out but the nav wouldn't or vice versa depends on who pulled it and i don't know if anybody will be interested but as i'm doing mine as fox killer f fox kilo sorry I have a spare set of 30-second Gulf War Tornado GR1 decals, mainly the identification and the nose art. For Snoopy's Airways. November, Airway. November. No, it's not November, November. It's Echo November. No, oh, it's got marked up as November, November. Oh, no, sorry. It's just then, November. Yeah. yeah. It, it's Echo November from 15 Squadron. All right. ZA491. Snoopy Airways. Yep. So, if anybody wants them, 
send me a PM. And you can be Mark's second friend. It, can be my, it won't be my first because you're my special friend. I'm very special, mate. Our... I have a biscuit and I sit in the corner in a rocking chair. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? Uh, GP's gone. He helped dismantle quite a few Tonkers to send to, to, to museums. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Mick Hibbert's in. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> no. Who let, who let him in? Everybody. Who let him in? Yeah. He said cross threading is free Loctite. <laughs> Mick, I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, GV's also gone, uh, disassembled a number of Tonka fins for a guy. Uh, and he's put them in the garden on plinths, painted, painted in the squadron colours, and they look wicked. Ah, oh, awesome! Yeah, I, I saw a post on that. Somebody had a mighty fin in the back in their back garden, and he <laughs> tried passing the excuse of, "Oh, darling, I've got a new sundial for the garden." Yeah, <laughs> no, I like that idea. Well, my garden's yeah. bloody big enough to do it. No, mine ain't. <laughs> uh, Tony's gone. Nice one, Mick. And Mick's gone eating glue and a handy lick windows. Well, I have been known. It depends on how drunk I get. Right. right that decals the tanks out because I need to decal them up before I put them on the pylons. There's no decals for the sky shadow or the boz, so they're okay. Ooh. Good, good, good. One, need all them no steps and all. Mm. Do, 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 do. Ah, there they are. Ready? Let's see. of the bleeders to colour. Mark? Steph? Tony said check R. Check R? Mm -hmm. R what? Common Road Junction says how long are you guys on for tonight? Um, my, my missus is at work until about 10 o'clock, so I couldn't give her monkeys. Um, uh, about another 10 15 minutes, mate. Uh, because I've got to go in for half past because me and my good lady are going to watch a film, film tonight. Mark, I've done it. Yay! <laughs> Looking sweet. So all I've got to do now is put the outer ones on. Yep. Uh, that's going to be fun. So...
Excuse me, my trip. Where is that little thing? Gigi Brush. GP's model zones, but there weren't many stencils left on the aircraft after they got painted pink, just the main ones got masked off. That's true. Yeah. Common road junctions were okay. N not okay, nice guys. Oh, sorry, oh, nice, okay, guys. <laughs> My apologies. And Vince Whitrose put, did you know Chuck Norris dead at 77 yesterday? Yeah, coronavirus has gone into uh, 14 days seclusion after biting uh, Chuck Norris. <laughs> and God rest the but Dame Vera Lynn passed away earlier. I didn't realize she was 103. Oh, she, that, that bird had a good old knock, didn't she? Didn't she ever? And more for UK morale than what than ever we did. Need that one. I don't want to put it. Do, 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 do. Right, okay. Dad, yes. I'm going to go pick up Ellie. Oh, where are you going? Um, I think she wants to go home. Right. Okie dokie, be safe. Thank you. Thank you too. Yeah. Can't be safe, be careful. Oh, if you can't be careful, it. don't get caught. <laughs> That's the motto. Meesham! Oh, yeah. Meesham! Meesham! Thank you! You're welcome. What? Never mind. Blah. <laughs> <coughs> One's missing. Up over. Oh, Okie dokie. 
I'm going to make an absolute mess of this thing. Well, don't make a mess of that thing. They can dry. Now to bring over the beast that is. Ugh. What I should have done is covered these bloody things in uh, super glue before I even started. <laughs> yes. And then let them dry. <clears throat> oh, Christ, no, I can't put it down that way. <laughs> That is going to need a little bit of filing. It's absolutely rancid in super glue. Right. Now. Oh, yes, I know what I was going to do next. All right. One final job of the evening. Yep, and I've just finished mine. No, I've just got to do mine. Barber stripe the uh, canopy support. You're going to do what? Red stripe around the canopy support. No, 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 no. <coughs> it was just red. Right. Okay. There was no stripe on the canopy supports whatsoever. Right in all. They were all red. And they had a flag, flag dangling from them. And yeah. You'd screw it in on the front cockpit uh, in the middle. And then it would run up to the front of the canopy. And it's on a spring. Mm -hmm. uh, so as the hydraulics dropped, the canopy would slowly drop on the spring. And it yeah. wouldn't just go bang. But yeah. On the front combing of the cockpit, on mm -hmm. the front windshield, there was a hole where you screwed it in, and there was a little flag yeah. on that. Yeah, I'm going to have another bash at trying to print off some more RBF tags. Cool. Now we've got some cartridges. Mm-hmm. Well, after spending the evening butchering this, uh, tell you what, close up, it looks bloody awful. It's gonna, I'm just gonna need quite a bit of cleaning up. That is before I do it, but at least it's okay. It's well, meant to be mangled anyway. Yeah, and you did say at the beginning of this buddy build that you was well out of your comfort zone. Oh yes. But if I may well, say. If I may say, at this juncture, you have done absolutely sterling work. Thank you very much. The flag was at the top, Tony. I always remember it being on the uh, the screwing part that you screwed into the front windshield. Because I remember sitting in the, putting it up against the canopy, sitting on the seat and screwing it in. But it may be different on different ones. Oh, 
Right, on that note, Mark, I think we will uh, knock her on the head like me. Right, right. Oh, uh, yep. All right, do you want to say goodnight, Mark? Goodnight, Mark. Uh, Stay right, safe, right. gentlemen. Yep. Stay lucky. Thanks for the banter. Thanks for the questions. Yep. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, take care. Um, please like the Facebook page. Please like the YouTube channel as well. Um, I took models out and I uh, took models out. <laughs> <laughs> took uh, tutorials out on a Sunday evening. So remember, guys, stay safe. Keep on modelling. And yeah. Sunday night, incidentally, is when we're back. Oh, yes, we're back on Sunday night. Sorry. Nicely remembered, Mark. Well, someone had to. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>